episode 25. Here we go. Start off with this piece of silver. No idea what it is. But it's silver. Too bad it's broken. But of course it's almost impossible to find a complete bracelet. Just found this copper coin. I hit a little bit with the shovel. There's no problem. Uh, a clean spirit at home. And it's good readable. It's a local Frisia coin from 1626. Just found this. It's nicely decorated. I have no idea what it was. Now, it would be amazing to find something like this, complete. And it's silver. What is it, a button or a coin? Ah, uh, silver dime. King Willem II, 19th century. Not the best silver dime that I found and definitely not the worst. 1849 is the year that we find a lot. It's quite common. And here we have a nice green scent from the 19th century. Probably a good one. Come clean fur at home. This is a scent from King Willem I of the Netherlands. And here's a clay pipe head. Seventeenth century. These small clay pipe heads are the oldest type you can find. And here's a buckle from the seventeenth century. Okay, we're getting closer to the seventeenth uh, century silver. This probably was a shoe buckle. Well, it's been a long time since I found one of these. It's a two euro coin. <laughs> and this coin has been underground for no longer than 20 years. The quality is very poor. And here's some uh, nicely decorated silver. Well, I don't know what it was. Yeah, nice. And again a euro coin, 50 cent. Trash. The quality of euro coins is terrible. Okay, it's time for another field. Another new field. I start off with a nice. Silver button. Still complete. The high on the back is a little bit bent. That's okay. It's always nice to find a silver button. Just found this tiny Roman coin. First I thought it was a shata, but it misses a tiny piece. Okay, let's check it out at home. Too bad it missed a tiny piece. It's a good quality Roman coin. Just found this tiny coin. I'm searching in an old settlement now, so... I wonder what it is. Loose copper, but it's, it's so small. Okay, let's check it out at home. And it happens to be a rare coin from the Dutch province of Overijssel. Next up. Nice scent. A 
1880. I find a lot of sense from this year. Next up, a nice symbol. It's in good condition. It's about um, 200 years old. Nice green. Okay, let's clean this one at home. This is a good thimble. You can still use today if you want. Walking back to the car. The last signal of the day is this. I don't know what it is. Check it out at home. Anybody knows what it is, please let me know. I found it on an old settlement. Someone told me it could be a local Roman imitation of a coin. Here I am, back in the fields around the city where I live. I found lots of silver coins here and even more copper coins. I think if I find 10 to 20 copper coins, one of them is silver. So, let's go dig up some coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm calling it a day. Found a handful of copper coins. Nothing special. So, next field. Another new field. I started with the Shata. I'm gonna clean it further at home. I think it's a copper one or bronze. The quality isn't that good. I found a better one once in silver. This one. And on the reverse side, there's some sort of monster that bites his own tail. And here we have a big clay marble, right on top. Marbles are very old. They were also used in ancient Rome or Egypt. A nice signal here. Finally a nice brooch. This is the tiniest brooch that we can find. It's about a thousand years old. Nice enameled. Beautiful. These tiny brooches were probably used for children. Just found this coin. It's a copper coin. 16th, 17th century. Okay, let's check it out at home. That's a good real coin. Here's a nice find. It's thimble. Looks good. It's a big one. Okay, I'll check it out at home. The same type as I found earlier, only this one is bigger. Okay, we've come to the end of this month's video. I'm walking back to the car now. Uh, I didn't find very much this month, but sometimes, uh, well, you aren't that lucky. I, of course, I found a nice dish brooch a couple of days back and uh, an Anglo-Saxon shata, only the quality was very poor. But I can't control the quality. So, hope you liked it and hope to see you again next month.